Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about a couple more moves that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made. They've promoted cornerback Rashard Robinson to the active 53-man roster. They have waived offensive lineman John Molshan, and they were able to add wide receiver, kick returner, and punt returner Jadon Mickens back to their practice squad. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you do enjoy these types of videos and leave your thoughts about all these moves that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers made down in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and start with the Buccaneers promoting cornerback Rashard Robinson from their practice squad to their active 53-man roster. Rashard Robinson, for those of you who do not know and are you know not really aware of the things that go on with the Buccaneers practice squad, has actually been with the team since September 20th. That was when he initially signed with the Buccaneers practice squad. He has been with the team ever since, learning the defense, getting ready um, on a weekly basis to be called up if they needed him, and now they have finally decided to fully promote him to the active roster. There have been a couple of consecutive weeks, however, uh, in recent weeks that Rashard Robinson was elevated on game day due to all the injuries that the Bucks have been dealing with at the cornerback position. Now they feel he is ready enough to fully promote him to the active roster due to all the injuries that the Buccaneers have been dealing with. And again, we have talked about those injuries so many stinking times and so many videos. I'm not going to go into details of those injuries yet again here in this video, but that is why a move like this is being made with the Buccaneers promoting Richard Robinson from the practice squad to the active 53-man roster. But what are the Buccaneers getting in Robinson at the cornerback position? Well, six foot two, 177 pounds, still only 26 years old. The guy is still very, very young. A fourth round draft pick in 2016 by the San Francisco 49ers. Played for them from 2016 to 2017. Then joined the Jets from 2017 to 2018. He actually spent a little bit of time with Todd Bowles there. And then he spent most of the 2019 season suspended by the NFL for violating the league's substance abuse policy. Then he joined the Cowboys for the 2020 season and a little bit of the 2021 season, got suspended for the first two games of this regular season, was released by the Cowboys, and then he joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the practice squad. Now, Rashard Robinson, throughout his entire career, I believe he has started 17 games, which is still something, right? It's better than nothing. He still has experience in the league. He's been in this league for uh, about five years now. So that is certainly nothing to ignore. It shows that he's a veteran, still young, still developmental, and he's still had the ability to play some regular season NFL games. I think that that does matter. That is an important thing to have on your resume. He can play both outside corner and special teams. He's mainly played special teams throughout most of his career with the teams that he has been on. I expect that to be his role with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here as well. We'll probably play special teams mainly um, if he is active on game day, but it's nice to have that extra body there. Nice to have that extra depth if, hey, God forbid, another injury happens to the Buccaneers cornerback room. Knock on wood for that, but now the Buccaneers are a little bit more prepared in that case. Now that Robinson has had a little bit of time, he's had about a month with the team now, to learn the defense a little bit. He already kind of knew Todd Bowles' defense uh, from their time together with the New York Jets. It's just a matter of getting up to speed. That has been accomplished now, and it seems like he will be ready to go if the Buccaneers need him. Will he factor into the cornerback rotation? I don't know. Maybe he will. We'll just have to wait and see. He does have that history with Todd Bowles. That is a uh, point in his favor, but uh, he may just play special teams. We'll have to wait and see. But then the next couple of moves that were made here, the Buccaneers waived John Mulshawn. Rashard Robinson had taken his uh, roster spot, which was a pretty interesting move as Mulshawn was just activated from the injured reserve yesterday and has now been waived today with Rashard Robinson taking that roster spot again. Now, the Buccaneers will try to bring him back on the practice squad to develop as they do like his versatility. They like what he can do as a young developmental offensive lineman. Again, John Mulshawn, friend of the channel, um, he... I hope he signs with the Buccaneers practice squad, but he may sign with another team's practice squad as well. We'll have to wait and see. Wherever he ends up, I wish nothing but the best 
for John Wolshon and all of his endeavors. I think he can be a really, really good offensive lineman in this league. So while they are going to try and bring back John Mulshawn, they've actually brought back another player officially to their practice squad, that person being Jadon Mickens. He's back. What an absolute trooper Jadon Mickens is, by the way. I mean, he has been on and off the Buccaneers active roster, the practice squad for a couple of years now. The dude's been an absolute trooper dealing with this kind of revolving door type situation of being on the active roster, back to the practice squad, being on the active roster, back to the practice squad. It's been... I imagine a tough situation to deal with, but I think Mickens has done a wonderful job of dealing with that situation, and I could very well see him being called up again in the near future to the active roster once the team gets healthier. I think that that is a definite possibility. I think the coaching staff likes what they have in him as a returner, based on what a lot of you guys had thought about the Jadon Mickens release. I feel like a lot of you guys like him as a returner as well, and all in all, again, I think he does a really, really good job. So happy to have him back on the practice squad. It's always good to have some extra guys there who you know can do some good things. But what do you think about these couple of moves that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made? Guys, leave me your thoughts about all this down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Richard Robinson being promoted to the active roster? Do you think he can do a good job? What do you think about John Mulshawn? Uh, being waived, do you think he'll be able to land back with the Buccaneers practice squad? And what do you think about Jadon Mickens returning to the Bucks practice squad officially? Are you happy for it? Do you not care about it? You know, just again, leave me your thoughts about all of these moves that were made. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Now we'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.